You knew Len Harvey, I take it, did you? Very well. Yeah. Len Harvey, to me, was one of the cleverest defending boxers there were. Well, there were. Yeah. He started off as a light, a flyweight, mm. and we went down to Duffy's gymnasium. He was about two or three years older than me, and um, when I came down to Duffy's old gym, mm. which was behind a public house, and uh, there used to be a German uh, wrestler at that mm. time. His name was Bill Klein, and he used to look after that gymnasium called Duffitts, the original yeah. Duffitts. The old, the new Duffitts was on the main Campbell Road, you see, <coughs> and the old one was round the corner, the back, a small little, no big in this room. And uh, that's where uh, Harvey used to train, mm. and I used to train down there. All the uh, old-time boxers used to train the heavyweights, I boxed with them. I was only about 15, mm. and Harvey was about 18. Mm. You see? Mm. And his wife was a very nice woman, very good looking woman too. She mm. And uh, so you see him go. Because mm. yeah. Yeah. I was looking, thinking of some of these great fighters throughout the 30s and 40s, which I'm, I'm sure you, you met. So I was reading about uh, Jack Dempsey the other day. Did you, ever, did you ever meet Jack Dempsey? I knew Jack Dempsey very well. He had a, he had a, um, a big restaurant on Broadway. Mm between 53rd and 52nd mm. on Broadway. Mm. And um, every time I used to go in there, I took my wife in there many times. Mm. And he was very, very friendly, mm. nice man. Mm. He married, um, he married a, a, a woman from Norway or Sweden, so Swedish. Um, yeah. He, he had a very nice woman. Yeah. There was a chap called Phil Richards fighting in America. Uh, Phil Richards came from the East End, Commercial Road. Mm. Flat as no, flat as a bank of all flat, and the biggest cauliflower there you've ever seen. Jewish boy. Yeah. Well, he must have been about, what? When I was 15, he could have been about 20, 21, oh, 22. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what happened with him, it was, he wasn't a champion of any kind, mm. but he was a gamer's toughest, <coughs> Fight, you know. Yeah. He's the box of killers. Killers gave him their cauliflower ear. <laughs> you see? Yeah. They gave him a lot of trouble. But when the war was on in Spain, mm. with uh, the. Uh, yeah, he went to Spain yeah. and became. He went to fight for Spain. He got killed. Ah. He went to Spain and he got killed in Spain. Ah. Phil Richards. Ah. He wasn't a champion class, no, you know, no. but he was a game. 10 round sure. fighter, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, semi final fighter, not top of the bill. No, no. And um, he got killed in, he got killed in Spain. He went there to fight during the 1930. 36. 36, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You were never tempted to go to Spain and fight. Oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> I wanted to be a bullfighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of. Um, I yeah. was always that way, you know. Yeah. If I wasn't a boxer, I'd been a bullfighter. <laughs> I bet there's a chap called, did you ever see a bloke called uh, Bugler, Harry Bugler, Bugler Lake? Bugler Lake. Yeah, did you ever watch him fight? Yeah, there was two, yeah. Bugler Lake was a featherweight. Yeah. A bantam or a feather. <coughs> he was a very good boxer, but uh, he was before my time. Yeah. Mm. But I watched him box a couple of times, two or three times, and then he retired, you see. Yeah, I see. He had a brother, a younger brother, Bugler mm. Lake, had a younger brother. Where well, he was a better fighter than the other brother. Mm, mm. He fought all the champions of England ah. at that time. Yeah. But Bugle Lake was a good boxer. Why they called him Bugle Lake is because he was in the services. Yeah. And yeah. he used to play the Bugle, you see. There were a lot of boxers then that, 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 that had names like that, like Corporal and Bombardier and well, all those sorts of names. In America, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Corporal is the. Uh, There's a flyweight champion of the world called Corporal Izzy something. Mm, mm. I can't think of him, the flyweight champion of the world. What about, what about this bloke called, I, don't, I think I mentioned him last week, Len Johnson. Did you know, it was he? Len Johnson is a black fella. Mm. He was a, a middleweight, light heavy, a middleweight, I think. Mm. 
Well, I'd like to see him. He's alive, he's still alive. Is he? Oh. But uh, at the time he was boxing, he fought Len Harvey, all of them. Mm. Very, very clever. Mm. Very nifty boxer, very nifty. Mm. Mm. And uh, some force he was never, never became a champion. Yeah. Did you ever watch him fight? Or mm. Yeah. As I say, you're a very clever boxer. Mm. I don't think... Well I, it, <coughs> well, I wouldn't be able to hit him. No. But he was tall, about six yeah. foot, yeah. very shifty. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to catch all of them. There's another chap that interested me, Kid Socks. Kid Did Chocolate? They, no, Kid Socks. Kid right. Socks. Well, yeah. he was a flyweight from Bethel Green. Yeah. Yeah, he was a very good boxer in his day. Uh, he, well, he won a lot of fights. They call him Stockings. <laughs> <laughs> a very good fighter he was, yeah. and uh, he didn't lose, he didn't lose many fights. Kid yeah. Socks, no. Because yeah. Al Foreman, by the way, you knew Al. Did you say you knew? Uh, yeah, Al I knew Al Foreman, but he didn't fight. No. He no. was uh, before my time. Jewish mm. boy came from East End. Yeah. Uh, he was a very, very good fighter. Mm. Good puncher, and uh, he knocked out people in one round. Yeah. If he hits you, not if he hits you, he would not. This is yeah. what I heard. Yeah. I've never seen him fight. Yeah, because he was but, in America, I think, when you first started. Mm? I think he was in America when you oh, first yeah, he, started. Oh, he fought in America at Toronto, Montreal. Yeah. He fought in America most times. Mm. He came over there occasionally. Mm. I think he he died in America. Yeah. I think, and uh, he's very well known in, in Montreal and Toronto, mm. more so there than New York. Because it says here his name was really Bert Harris. That's right. it. Yeah. His name was Bert Harris. But he changed it to Al Foreman. Al Foreman, yeah. Strange, yeah. His name was Bert Harris, <laughs> a Jewish boy. By, by the way, uh, Archie Sexton, I've never mentioned him. Did you know Archie him? Archie Sexton, yeah, I know Archie Sexton, yes. You, you didn't fight him, though? No, no, I did didn't fight him. He's bigger, he bigger than I am. Mm. He's bigger than me. Yeah. yeah. I think he was a welterweight. Mm. He was from Bethnal Green, I think. He comes from Bethnal Green, yeah. 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 A lot of good fighters came from Bethnal Green. Yeah. How about this bloke called Young Froggy? Who was he? Did you? Yeah, Jack Himes. Oh. Jack Himes, he was a middleweight. Oh. Uh, a welterweight middleweight. And Jack Himes could have been, um, well, he beat many boxers that beat him. More boxers he beat than they beat him. Yeah. And I reckon he could have been the middleweight champion of England, myself. But I was, I boxed him in the gymnasium many times and mm. uh, I always took care of him, though he was a middleweight. Yeah. Mm. I wonder why he's called Young Froggy. Seems an odd name. Well, he had a brother. Uh, a young, he had a brother called Froggy, you see. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this young brother said, I can beat Kid Berg. Mm. See? And, uh, well, I stopped him. Yeah. He retired. After I stopped him, yeah. he retired. Yeah. Froggy retired. And Young Froggy was... His yeah, younger brother, he started boxing. He became, he became a good middleweight. He fought all the middleweight champions, beat them mm. all, mm. and he died about uh, four or five years ago. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Johnny Hill. Who was he? Uh, that was a, uh, a great Johnny, uh, Johnny Hill. He was a uh, Johnny Hill. Johnny Hill. Oh, I know. Yeah, here we are. Undefeated. Flyweight champion. Nineteen twenty-seven. Johnny Hill. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Mm. Yeah, I think he might have. He didn't fight people that you fought. He fought Phil Lelosky. Well, Phil Lelosky was a flyweight from yeah. uh, the east end of London, from Mulgate. Yeah. And uh, he was he was a good flyweight, but mm. uh, this Johnny Hill was a better flyweight than him. Yeah. He be, I think he won. He beat him. A bloke here called Newsboy Brown. Newsboy Brown is an American. Was he? Yeah, he Spanish. came over to England once. Yeah. And he was a, an American flyweight, Newsboy Brown. Uh, but it seems to me that when you look at that, all the boxing that was going on then, I mean, you know, oh, three day fights, after day, I mean, just... Three end. fights a week at the Prima Land, yeah. and then there was fights at the uh, Ring Black Rise, yeah. then there was boxing at Ho Hoxton Barnes. Yeah. You see, there were a lot of fights, and then the People's Palace, oh, they yeah, boxing at the People's the, Palace. Because yeah. you fought there once. Yeah, and then, then boxing at the, uh, then boxing at the, um... Manor Hall, Hackney. Manor Hall, that's right, yeah. yes. And then there was another one there, where Jack Saunders became a matchmaker in, uh, in Cambridge Road. I've got a place here called the Alcazar in Edmonton. Harry, yes, the boxing Harry show Abrams. there, yeah. Harry Abrahams. I never fought there, no. Yeah. Did you ever meet Harry Abrahams? No, I never no. met him, no. no. 
about Teddy Baldock? Where does he? Ah, uh, Teddy Baldock. Now Teddy and I, we used to train at Hurst Pier Point, in, yeah. uh, just outside of Brighton. Oh, yeah. Towards Rotten Dean Way, that further past Rotten Dean. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Teddy Bulldog, we used to go running, and he was a hell of a runner. Mm. Oh, you used to leave me. Yeah. To, with the last hundred yards going home, he sprinted. <laughs> I, I couldn't keep up with him. See, he yeah. really was a tall, skinny, yeah. fantastic flyweight boxer. Teddy Bulldog's father was a bookmaker. Yeah. You see, and he was uh, very, very good. Mm. Very good boxer. Where did he live? Did he come from the... He came from Poplar. Uh, he yeah. came from Poplar. He was boxing before me. Yeah, yeah. See, all, I started, all these people are from the early first year yeah. or so. When you he were, started boxing way before me, about mm. two or three years before me. He would have been about... I'm seven, he would have been about 78, 79 now, mm. you see, mm. those fighters. Yeah. Also, by the way, Joe Bloomfield. I mean, did you ever meet... I mean, that oh, means, Joe Bloomfield. His brother was Jack Bloomfield, mm. who was a uh, class uh, like every champion. Mm. Well, Kid Lewis could beat Jack Bloomfield, mm. but Joe Bloomfield was a real tear away. Mm. He was he's tougher than his brother Jack, though Jack was champion. Mm. Joe Bloomfield was an ordinary uh, club fighter, mm. you see, at that time. He had a lovely big cauliflower here, <laughs> banged about. but. To watch him fight, you know you're going to watch him in a fight, you know you're going to enjoy the fight. Mm. He, gave, he gave everybody his money's worth. I can remember him like, a, like today. Mm. At the premium land, he topped the bill, he fought all the best, good fighters, yeah. like a punching bag, you know. Yeah. But game, strong, and it was, you see, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> we always get, uh, he, I, I used to watch him, and I used to punch down the belly, you know? Yeah, yeah. Bang, 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 boom, boom. Very clever. I mean, yeah. the way he did it, but he never mounted anything. Mm, yeah. Always found somebody a bit better than him. Yeah. But he was a hell of a game fighter, Joe Bloomfield. Yeah. He, and was he a friend, like, local? Did he live locally? or? or? He lived locally. He lived uh, somewhere in the, way, in the East End somewhere. Mm, see? Mm. I, every time he had a fight at the Prima Land, mm. for most of the Prima Land, you see, and yeah. I used to go there. Yeah. When you weren't fighting, I suppose you'd you'd go there most times. There was a show on, did you? I yeah. Or during the early. I used to go with the early days. I used to go there every time, twice a week, two or three yeah. times a week. Yeah. 